Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video about a new topic. I want to do human skin texturing. Um, the reason why is well, A, it's fun, B, it's difficult, and that's why I'm doing it. And C, it's actually being requested on different videos. So I think, you know, let's just give it a try and see how far we get. Um, the reason why it's difficult, right, is because skin is actually really complicated um, because you have the bone structure, the actual skull. Like for example the cheekbones over here then you have the fat tissue that's laying on top of that and then you have the actual blood vessels go through it and then you have the actual skin um and they all intertwine to actually create the phenomenon that we call skin right so it starts with a good mesh right a good model i know it sounds obvious but that's actually where it starts so i did a sculpt in zbrush right this is the actual model itself and then i've done it's just a default uh, humanoid that's in there and then I just changed everything and added more detail. Um, as you can see, I've added a lot of small detail like skin parts over here, wrinkles on the actual eye sacs and also on the lips as well. There's a scar here, there's some imperfections on the skin, there's uh, lines here to actually break up the symmetry in, in, in the skin, etc, etc, etc. So it's actually, this is the first stage, right? When you have the first stage solid, then you can move on to the next one, that's the actual skin texture part. I'm going to see right for a second. So, right, how we're going to do this? Well, we're just going to eyeball it at first, right? So, I'm just going to add a new small material here that's called skin. I know, who would have thought? This one's one I got from the Substance Share, which you can download for free as well. Now, the first thing that I immediately see is that I really don't like the, the actual color of the skin. I'm gonna make a little bit more lighter and a little bit less saturated because he, I mean he's an old dude right so it would make sense so less saturation just a little bit more grayish and maybe a little bit more lighter as well a little bit there you go that's it but um I baked maps um in Substance Painter so I've also baked normal map using my high poly mesh that I, uh, I got from ZBrush, it's like 400 MBs, so which is why I've already done it, otherwise it's gonna take forever. And one thing to note though, is that I've used the PBR Metallic Roughness SSS um, template, and the SSS stands for Subsurface Scattering, which means that it emulates how light um, reacts to skin. For example, right, if you would hold your hand in front of a very bright light, your hand would turn orange, right? That's called Subsurface Scattering, so. So the color, I mean, it looks pretty good. It's not really interesting, but it is like a good solid base. Um, one thing though I noticed is that it's really flat when it comes to the highlights. So what we can do though is we can actually stack multiple uh, skin materials of each other. So I'm gonna grab something like the Human Skin Feverish. Go down there. Now you can see, right? Next is actually really cool. So. Just look at the lips right here it looks really solid and then we add to this one on it looks like a bit like wax right that's actually the subsurface scattering so if i turn it off or a little bit lower you can see the actual effect of that subsurface scattering so i'm going to lower it down a little bit so we still have it a little bit but not that much okay i really don't like the colors i'm going to turn it all the way down now this looks really sweaty right you get a nice nice detail in the highlights which actually um, emphasized the pores in the skin, which is perfect. But it's a little bit too much, so I'm gonna lower down a little bit. We still have it, but a little bit less, right? So it's still nice, nice and interesting highlights, but it's just a little bit more subtle, right? So there we go, maybe a little bit more fancy, right? So this is the base color, and it is boring. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, we're gonna start big shapes, then we're gonna add more detail, add more detail, add more detail, etc, etc, etc. So I'm going to start big. The first thing I want to do is wanna, I want to add like the parts that's actually a little bit darker. Like for example, the cheeks, right? So the cheeks yourself should be a little bit darker. I'm going to turn on my symmetry mode. I'm going to turn off my into plane. I'm going to grab here. I'm just going to start painting in the shapes that I want to be a little bit darker, like this one over here. Add the actual cheek. Maybe the eye sockets here a little bit, like a line over here, maybe here as well. Just finding the eyes that want to be a little bit dark, maybe here as well, underneath the mouth. Right here. 
kind of cool. No, I don't care about it's not perfect at all because I really don't care. I'm gonna blur it anyway, so why not? Why would I worry about it? It would be here as well, maybe here as well on the side of the head. Oh, which is good. I'm gonna add a little bit like a line here for the actual ears. Wider. And since I'm gonna blur it, I'm not gonna fill it up. Here as well, a line here. Just gonna add small detail. Maybe here as well. Maybe there, there. Again, I don't care about the imperfection of my brush strokes at all. Maybe here as well. There you go. So, like I said, I'm just gonna. I mean, this looks stupid, right? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blur it. I'm gonna add a blur. I'm gonna only do it on my colors and turn everything else off. And then I'm just gonna blur it to oblivion. There we go. It's perfect. And now I'm just going to lower down the opacity by quite a lot. So it's subtle, right? You can see it, but it's almost not there, right? So I look now and turn it off and on. You can see it's there, but it's super subtle. It's exactly what I want. Now, I want to be careful with multiply. It's too much, right? I set it back to normal. Just going to leave it nice and, so, uh, and low so it's subtle, but it's there. Beautiful. So next step is I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this um, darker shades, and if it's a type of caps, it means it's true. So I'm gonna do it again. This time I'm gonna grab my again skin color. I'm gonna do it lighter, right? So I'm gonna go for the parts of the, of the head that are exposed to sunlight, or um, have less thickness so that the bone is closer to the skin than anything else. So for example on my cheekbone right my cheeks i'm gonna add a little bit of line here like super small line again because i'm gonna blur it so i don't want to fill it all completely also on the nose bridge entire forehead of course as well make it huge again just fill up there you go I want to be careful here because the actual eyebrows actually have a lot of fat tissue beneath it, so I'll be careful with that one. Maybe a little bit like up on the chin as well. Maybe a little bit more here on the cheekbone. There you go. Here you go on the actual jawline and here. Okay, again, same step. I'm gonna filter it. I'm gonna turn everything off except for the color. Then again, blur and major blur. Like a really big blur in this case. And then I'm gonna set it to some of the screen probably. And then turn it all the way down. So it's like, oh yeah, it's there, but it's subtle, right? So again, turn it off and on, subtle, but it's there. Okay, let's have a quick look around. Okay, if you turn this off, you're there, but it's subtle. That's perfect, right? Again, these colors here look really boring. Well, we're gonna fix that later on, right? So don't worry about it. So um, next up, I'm gonna call this um, highlights. Okay, let's add in a little bit more like smaller detail. So I kind of want to be the eye bags here to be a little bit more bluish because that's really common. I'm got oh, I already have a blue, so that helps. I'm just gonna paint some lines in here. A couple of lines again. I don't care about if they are perfect or not because I'm again I'm just gonna blur them. So why would I care? Like a little bit more bluish here. Let's do kind of cool. Maybe somewhere else as well. Maybe like a smidge. Yeah, just a smidge, right? Same thing. Blur. Big time. That's actually really cool. Okay, let's find a nice looking screen near Dutch, maybe. And again, lower down a little bit. And I just want to have a hint of blue, right? Just a hint, nothing more, just a small hint. Actually, let's lower down the highlights a little bit. That's better. That's better, yeah. Okay, we're gonna stack some highlights here as well later on, but for now it's just the base, right? Okay, so this are the big shapes, maybe add some, let's call this uh, eye bags, eye bag. 
Let's add the actual mouth, right? So I'm gonna do here, grab color, my skin, lower it down in the saturation and in the value, I'm just gonna add. Can this gonna look stupid? Actually, let's grab a little bit more of a pinkish color. What was the red? It's gonna look stupid. I'm, I'm gonna say it up front. That looks really stupid. Actually, let's do a little bit more pinkish. Uh, what's the red? There we go. It's looking stupid. That's fine. It's fine. Trust me. A little bit less like this. Again, we're gonna blur this, so we wanna be careful with the edges over here. If you don't overdo it. Uh, paint, paint, paint. I'm gonna check it out here. Everything covered. Absolutely sexy, right? This looks amazingly sexy. I'm gonna multiply this. Poof, there you go. That's actually red. Then I'm gonna add again, add a blur. You can immediately see, right, it actually fills up the entire mouth almost, or maybe a little bit more. What may be there? We go, much better. That's nice, actually. Maybe a little bit more here on the bottom. There we go. And then lower down the opacity. Because you just want to be a little bit darker, not like red. It's a little bit darker. See? Just a little bit smidge. A little bit more here on the bottom. That's it. Perfect. Nice. That's pretty good. Okay. Pretty good, right? Okay, let's call this the mouth. Beautiful, right? So I want to make the eyes a little bit more, um, a little bit more depth, right? So I'm going to dark bluish over black. Going to add a small line here around the actual eyelids themselves. A little bit more. I just want to emphasize them a little bit and make them pop out. So line, nothing more. And again, we're gonna blur it, so maybe a little more on the actual eyelid over here. A little bit, a little bit, there you go. And you can guess what we're gonna do, we're gonna blur this, right? Blur. Boom. You can actually multiply this. Yes. See, right? It actually adds a little bit more depth to the actual eyes. A little bit more here-ish. A little bit more here as well. There we are. Perfect. Again, it's about salty, right? It's just stacking of layers and layers and layers. Different colors. That's it. Okay. So, let's add the fatty tissue. I'm gonna call these the eye sockets, not eyelids. So we started the fair tissue and then we're gonna build up on that. So I'm gonna grab a yellow color, a yellowish color, maybe like pop it like this, right? It's fine. I'll grab a different brush and let's grab the swarm because I like it. I'm just gonna paint wherever there should be fat tissue, right? So in this case on the cheekbone a little bit, a little bit on the cheekbone. Line here, eyelids, of course, as well. The eye bags, you got a little bit of fat tissue here as well. I can just gonna paint it here as well, maybe here, this part, and on the eyebrows itself, of course, there's fat tissue quite a lot actually. Here as well. Again, this looks really stupid, it's perfectly fine. Maybe a little bit less on the nose, be a little bit more careful with that area. The more here, here. There you go. Does it look stupid? It looks absolutely fucking hilarious, but that's fine. Maybe like a switch here as well. This should be fat, this should be fat. Fat tissue, fat tissue, fat tissue. The eye uh, and the ears as well, especially the outer sides here, should be like fat tissue. And fat tissue. Okay. Now I'm getting into more like a finer detail, but again, I'm gonna. Guess what? Blur this. A cool thing, why I use this, this swarm brush, right? You get this really nice 
smudgy effect when you start blurring this. I know again this looks stupid, but it's the you know, entire idea. I'm just gonna make a little bit more like one and five. You still get this really nice differentiation in actual intensity of the color, which is perfect. And again, I'm just gonna maybe linear dodge and then lower it down like a little bit. Like huh? Looks weird, that's fine because we're gonna add way more detail on top of this. So we're actually gonna add more color on top of this as well. More bluish, more red, more green as well, more purple color. Maybe this part of here should be a little bit less, but for now I'm just gonna keep it. Maybe let's say this to this 20. Even more so, right? There it is. It's there though, it's there. And you can start seeing it through the skin as well, a little bit here and there. It's awesome. Okay, so it's next step, right? I'm gonna call this fat tissue. Next up, I'm gonna add a little bit more blue, especially here around the eyes. Again, I'm gonna grab blue. I'm gonna grab a regular brush, as you soft. And most people have like this bluish streak of, of like a line over here. It's like it's go, it goes down here, right? So maybe a little bit more in this line over here. It's really common, almost everybody has it. And I don't, I don't know why though, but I just only know that everybody has it. So again, blur it a little bit more, so like a little bit of smudge. There we are. And maybe let's add this as well. No. No. Overlay. Overlay. Just finding the one that you actually a little bit more. There you go. It also adds a little bit more depth, right? In here. You can see right turning off and on. It adds a little bit more depth to the actual nasal bridge. It's perfect. So this like eye uh, nose bridge. <laughs> I don't know what to call this. Nose bridge blue. I like that name actually. Nose bridge blue. It's there, it's subtle, it's perfect. So you can see right there's a lot of yellowish tone to this, which is actually exactly what you want. But now I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna grab like a really nice red color, really deep one. And I'm gonna grab a dirty dots brush. It's fun part again. I'm just gonna paint. I'm just gonna add lines. I'm just gonna add dots. Everywhere I want, I'm just gonna add dots, right? Like what the fuck? I just wanna add more detail in the skin. So more more color variation in the skin, more a little bit more everything especially on eyelids just a little more detail right it's just skin detail color detail just paint it in this case i'm just gonna go nuts fuck it it's an old man right so skin his skin should not be perfect it should have like a lot of small weird details in there i'm gonna make it even bigger over here on the top of the head and the neck There you go. Just make sure that you cover the entire head, right? Maybe a little bit on the ear as well. And the ear, there you go. Okay. Maybe a little bit more here. There's finer detail there. Okay, there you go. So, the fuck? I'm gonna lower down the intensity a lot, right? Like something like 23. Now you can see, right? This detail's still there. It's just really subtle. Oh, what if I do it like something like 15 maybe? It's going to be, going to be a bit more so. Turn off and on. You see it's there. It's perfect. Maybe a little bit more. Smudge. See? Perfect. Now you can see we start adding in, we start building the detail, which is exactly what we want. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's like the red and the dots. I'm going to add a new one. I'm just going to make it green. I know. Green. Like deep green, same thing. Paint it, dot it across his, across his face, everywhere you want, and it dots. Again, it's just for detail. And for the entire skin, I'm just gonna add green dots. I know it's weird. It's awesome. Top of the entire head. And neck as well, of course. Let's go nuts. There you go. Same thing. Gonna lower it down again, probably same similar opacity, 17. See right? It's there, it's not there. It's turn it off again. It's like hmm, boring. Hmm. A little bit more interesting. We get a little bit more interesting color. 
Now I'm gonna grab it's called green dots. I'm gonna do one more pass with them in blue. Come, I'm gonna grab a really dark blue, super dark bluish. Same thing, right? Um, same thing. I'm gonna add blue dots. Now this will add a lot of contrast to the actual skin in terms of detail. I mean, the red and green actually they are similar. To the actual skin itself, the skin tone as well. So this one will add a lot of strong contrast and make it pop a little bit more. See, I'm not going to use like big details. I'm going to use finer details here. Just a little bit too much of a toad head. A little bit too close to each other. This is real fast. Oh, dots. Thank you. I'm not using different. Mm, what the fuck? Oh, I wonder if did I get a different color of this. One second, let me just do this again. That's kind of weird. I don't know what happened, but it looked kind of weird. So, same thing. Just let's go nuts with blue. Again, it's just for creating more detail, more contrast, mostly initial skin. There you go. Same thing. <laughs> it looks like he has, a, he has a very bad skin disease, but I'm multiplying this right now. So it gets really dark and then lower it down. 95. Yeah, why not actually? And this is an old dude, right? His skin should not be perfect. Maybe a little bit less. And let's do 20. Let's try 20. Yeah, that's better. That's better. That's actually really nice. Blue dots. Okay. So. Now we're going to go for like those really strong imperfections. I'm going to add like a really strong dark black ish almost. It's simple dots, right? I just want to grab my basic soft brush. Just want to add some dots. Let's turn off symmetry actually for now. Uh, there it is, and just add dots. It doesn't really matter the way you place them as long as they are on his face. If you probably have guessed. More and more and more. Everywhere you want. There you go, I think. Go more here, and then we're done. Done, 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 done. There you go, one more, one more. <laughs> okay, same thing, right? I'm gonna multiply this. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue on this one, a little bit. I'm gonna lower it down again quite a lot. See, right, again, if you turn off the arm, you see there's really big spots almost, and that's exactly what I wanna have. Um, let's call this black spots. This is what I want to have like dark, dark spots. Maybe actually the blue is here in the eyes. I think it can actually be a little bit more. A oh, little bit more. Maybe even normal. A little bit less. That actually looks a lot better. Just gonna save this real fast. I've got to save. Okay, I'm gonna go with my darker shades again because I forgot something. Actual nostrils, <laughs> which is not really helpful. So I'm gonna grab it again and darker, dark, super dark. I don't see any difference. So I'm gonna make a new layer, set the multiply straight away. Just gonna paint it with this and turn this back on. So the reason why I'm doing this like super dark is I just want to create like this depth in the nose area. Now, I don't expect a face look into his nose, but you know you never know. Maybe someone's fetish, I don't know. Do it a little bit, multiply this, actually do a one and lower it down. Yes we do. Just a smidge. 
There we go. Perfect. Nice. This is pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, let's add the overall uh, nostrils. So I added some scars here as well, like scar over here and this big fat cross. So I want to emphasize them as well. So I'm going to keep my dark blue color that I just had. I just want to emphasize it. Just a little bit. With this one again, I'm just going to blur this. Maybe multiply this. It's there, right? But if you turn it off and on, it's a big difference. So same for the one up here as well. So I'm going to grab a new one and maybe let us lightly kind of go in between the lines here and turn it back on. Great. Again, it's not perfect, but I don't care. Blur this, multiply this. Much better. Oh, I like this. But, right, we have still some weird stuff going on here. For example, the highlights, right? The nose should be a little bit lighter than anything else. So I'm gonna now, now I've uh, now I've all my detail. I can see here. Okay, where do I need to add more, and where do I need to add less? In this case, I need to add more highlights, especially on the nose area. So I'm gonna grab a little bit darker, a little bit lighter color. I'm gonna paint it right a little bit, maybe here as well. Yeah, there we go. Again, I'm gonna blur this obviously. Again, just the color itself. And again, as usual. This is a screen. Oh, we're done. You see what? It's there. It's there. It's subtle. It's there. Perfect. Let's do 20x. Now let's do like 17. Again, those are not exact numbers. I just like. I bought it like maybe I should probably go for 17, right? It's not exact, it's not exact science. It's just like, yeah, I like this, so therefore I do. I'm gonna add this, actually extend this on the actual ears as well. If I can actually, what the fuck? It's so annoying that it changed the color. It's actually really annoying. Don't know why, but it does. I want to add depth to the actual ear itself. I know it's really flat, so I'm going to turn on blur again. There you go. Better. No, I'm not going for like a super hyper hyper realistic uh, texture style because you know if I want to do that I would just grab a picture of someone put it on there, but I just want to have like a little bit more fun. So I'm gonna now play a little bit with the um, roughness because right now roughness is still this right. It has no difference in areas or whatever. So I'm gonna start painting. I'm just gonna grab a new layer here for a second and let's call this color. I'm gonna put everything in there. Except for my base layers, these two. There we go. Or not. It is so much. This should be best for. I think. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna make a new group. Oh, but but. Outside my color, did I actually do it? It did not. Let's close this new group. Okay, let's call this roughness. Okay, so now I just want to paint roughness. That's it. The only thing I want to paint is now is the actual roughness area. So, in here, I'm just going to turn on my color, turn on roughness. 
The first thing I want to do is I want to focus on the obvious spots like the lips, for example. Right? They are less rough than the rest of the skin. So I'm gonna start painting this. So it's got a little bit more, become a little bit more shiny. See? Perfect. That's what I want, right? A little bit less shiny. Maybe no. This is pretty good. Same goes for my eyelids. So I'm with the same value. I'm just gonna paint my eyelids as well. So they're they a little bit more shiny because they're a little bit more moist. Awesome word, by the way. A little bit more like this, right? Perfect. Again, if you want, you can just add a blur to this. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit of blur to this. It's a smidge. Again, just on the roughness in this case, blur a little bit. There we go. So some parts are a little bit more shiny than other ones. For example, your forehead is a little bit more shiny because of the um, grease than anything else. So I'm going to add a little bit more on this as well. So I'm going to use the same value here. I'm just going to grab a little bit, get a big ass brush and just going to paint it, right? Stops here around like the hairline-ish area. Same for your nose. Also a little bit more shiny than anything else because it's also a little bit more greasy than anything else. There you go. Again, this looks stupid because again we're gonna blur this. So I get a little bit more of an overall distribution of the actual values like this. Too shiny, probably right. So what I want to do in this case, I want to set it to multiply probably. So oh, that doesn't work because we need to go to roughness. Multiply, what does this do? Absolutely nothing at all. Except for this. So it's kind of weird though, actually this to Oh. Huh. That's fun. Oh. Let's do a little bit more, a little less uh, opacity, so you can still see like the fine detail through this. A little bit more interesting, right? Okay, we're gonna do the same thing here. So I'm gonna make a new layer. Again, roughness. Maybe then we're gonna grab like a swan brush again. And I'm just gonna paint a little bit. Just gonna switch to my roughness again. Oh. Roughness. Actually, I'll if I can actually see something. Oh, I actually did. Hmm. Oh. A little bit less. Just adding in spots, so that's it. I'm just adding like a differentiation and roughness because it makes everything look a little bit more interesting. If you have that, like this really boring uniform roughness, it's gonna look really weird and not interesting. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Also, I'm gonna do the inverse of that as well, so I'm gonna switch here. So if I click this, it looks pretty good actually. Then I'm gonna grab a little one, a little bit, a little bit more rough. I'm just gonna grab a different brush here. Maybe dots. I'm gonna add a little bit more. See, now you get this. Now it's actually starting to come a little bit more interesting, right? So I'm gonna add dots here. I'm just gonna them here on the forehead as well, so we get a little bit more. I do that. Keep doing this. Sorry, I apologize. I get a little bit more differentiation and roughness in that area as well. Even on the lips, right? And on the ear, just keep on tapping it slightly. Same here. Just meant to break up the Otherwise, boring highlights, right? Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe we can add a little bit of blur here. Just a smidge. Maybe a little bit less opacity. Okay. New layer. Again, I'm going to grab my dirt brush now. 
and let's yeah, make it a little bit more rough, a little bit more shiny. Same here for the eye bags as well. So I'm just gonna grab it, gonna paint. I'm, I'm not gonna dab anything, I'm just gonna paint on it like this. Okay, this is gonna make this part a little bit more shiny than anything else. Kind of cool. And I also want that just like small areas here. I want to make it a little bit more shiny. Here also let's do the inverse as well. So I'm gonna grab my this one. Bigger this time maybe. In this case I did use a big brush. Just to add a little bit more speed to this process. And it's coming together pretty well. Don't forget to save, of course. It's really important. Okay. So this looks pretty good, right? Now we're gonna go for the extremes again, like super shiny, super not shiny. Uh, maybe do dots erase. I don't know what this is gonna do, but let's just grab this. And this is gonna make it super rough, so I actually wanna do super shiny first. So not rough at all. If I do this right, you can see it actually gets really shiny. It's actually really, actually really cool. Especially on the forehead, you get this really nice detail, see? And if it's too much, you can always lower down the opacity of the actual layers, right? So I'm gonna go here, especially on the, on the eye bags, which I'm gonna go to town here. I'm gonna add more. I'm sorry, I keep doing this. So annoying. A little bit more here as well. Here, maybe also on the nose, it's kind of cool. A little more, there we go. It's just more detail in the highlights. You can see it right, it's subtle, but it's really there. You can actually really tell the difference. I'm gonna do this. That's, that's really cool. So same thing in the opposite direction, right? So I'm gonna also go for like super, super rough patch. Oh, that looks really okay. There you are. Just detail it, detail it, detail it. There you go. Don't forget to save. I was just gonna lower this down a little bit. A little bit more uniform. Okay, I'm just actually gonna look into the actual eyes, make it a little bit more, a little bit more shiny, so super not rough. I saw him do it again. <laughs> this one, that's this one I was looking for. I'm just gonna paint this, right? It should be super moist. Here, see right. This is a really nice dark line here, and guess what? Look at this. There you are. A little bit less. There you go. Same for the actual. I'm gonna just gonna use this layer for the actual mouth as well, right? So I'm gonna add lines here. Actually, put paint. I add black lines here. Let's make it if not perfect, right? Um, a little bit more. A little bit too much, though. It's way too much. Let's do this in a separate layer. There you go. Okay. I can just lower down the opacity when I want to. Okay. Wow, is that color? That look kind of lame. Okay. Um, 
There's a little bit more interesting detail to the actual. Also use a white one as well. But in between areas, I'm just gonna add a little bit more depth to my reflections. Nice, okay. A little bit of blur, a little bit of smidge blur. Let's do this. Way too much. Let's do 0.1. Let's do it. 0.2. That's better. It looks pretty good, actually. Okay, let's have a quick look. Because, of course, this needs a little bit more tweaking. I'm not done yet, but you know, I get the overall impression of it. So let's turn on and occlusion of uh, shadows. I like that actually. Let's turn sw shift switch. Jesus Christ! Different panoramas on different. Oh, this degree. See what the detail in the mouth. Perfect. The highlights here might be a little bit less. A little bit of tweaking, but it's the basic is there, right? Yeah, it's too much here. Forehead. It needs to be toned down. The uh, roughness. It is the best way to actually check it. It's just constantly switch between environmental maps. Let's have a quick turn around. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to paint my scattering map. I'll show that and then we're going to call it a day. But this looks really nice. Huh. Like a half hour texture, texture job, this looks pretty damn good if I say so. Myself, of course. Okay, let's turn it off again. Let's do the last one. Let's turn this off and then we're gonna make a new layer and this is gonna call it scattering. Now this is one of one of folks only on the scattering part, so which part should be a little bit more scattered than the other ones. So I'm gonna draw a color and then scattering, right? So we have white and black, same value. So white means a lot of scattering, black means no scattering at all. Obviously, so I want to start with the place that actually need a lot of scattering. That's, for example, the ear. So I'm going to go here to my scattering. It's going to use a lot of, obviously. So let's first make a black layer here. There we go. Okay. Don't know why this is black. No. Okay, let's turn this off, turn this back on. Scattering. Okay. This is to see, if, especially for like game engines like Unity, you can say, okay, this part should be super shiny. This one should not be shiny at all, right? That actually. Not. So if I turn on my shadows again, um, go here. You should actually see some scattering detail. And it's all the way up. It actually, doesn't show anything, of course. I see. Yeah, you can see. Look at the top here. You can see the scattering amount zero. To I'm gonna find like a sweet spot over here. To so shells again. Awful. Let's texture this. Actually, there you go. Okay, so the ears should have a lot of, lot of scattering. Same goes for like the mouth and nose, um, but the nose should be a little bit less than the ears. So I'm gonna make a new layer here. I'll make it a little bit less scattered like the nose, like something like this maybe. Because the nose has cartilage in there, so that's why it actually looks scattered. I'm gonna blur this down. And a little bit, nah, quite a lot actually, not like this. Yeah, perfect. Maybe also the eyelids usually have some scattering as well. Super subtle though, so keep that in mind. This one over here should be like that. So a little bit, just a little bit, right? Just a little bit, be careful with this. A little bit more on the actual eyelids. Just be careful. This can look really weird if you overdo this. Where your eyes become like super waxy. The last thing you want, probably. So, I'm gonna do this. Oh. Okay, a quick look. Super dirty. 
But again, I do not care. There we go, much better. Okay. I can also say the which part should not have scattering like to forehead, for example, right? Also the mouth should have some actually it has already some. There, but maybe we can actually do this more. Actually let's go scattering again. I'm not sure if it's not a fill layer or not. Okay. So, yeah. this gives us a nice overview of what it actually will be scattered or not. So, let's turn this off. Okay. Yeah. Off, 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 off. Okay. The mouth should have some scattering, right? You can see the difference. So I'm going to add a little bit scattering on the actual mouth. Not that much, though. I don't want it to look weird, so I'm going to make it some. Also, a little bit of blur. See, now you can see why it's so difficult to do, right? Because you have so many details to keep in mind, so many factors that will actually determine um, whether things look like skin or not. I mean, this is not done yet by far, because it needs a lot more tweaking than this. But it's a good start, so I'm gonna focus here on, not like this, in between, right? And like this part over here should have some, this should also have some, scattering as well like this should have scattering as well also have some scattering i think that is pretty loose and it has fat tissue should have scattering right let's go quick look here as well this part here as well the neck obviously as well okay let's blur this and then let's call this a day um, nice. See, it's super subtle, but that look right at the uh, this line over here. This is without, and this is with. So it softens up the skin a little bit. There you go. Let's save this real fast. And I'm going. To, I'm just going to continue playing with this because it's not done yet. But for like half an hour, like how will work? Quite pleased with this. Let's one more look around the actual environmental maps. It's not bad. Not bad. Okay. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed this. Next videos, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so hope to see you again uh, next time.